They were married on the first day of the Russian invasion. They have since taken up arms to defend their country. And Yarina also serves on the Kiev City Council. We're so happy to see you guys here and safe. Thank you so much for joining. How are you guys doing? Uh, thank you. We are okay right now. My husband had to, to stay on the post uh, for three hours, so he got a little cold and... Uh, just uh, came back a few uh, minutes ago. Uh, though I was uh, trying to take some sleep uh, just because it's the only time, you know, you don't sleep here when you want to, you sleep here when you have an ability to, because there is a lot of work to do. Uh, the situation in here is mostly okay right now, but still uh, we had some explosions and yesterday, uh, there was one explosion in Obolon district in Kiev, very, very close to my grandmother's house. Like in her house, the windows were even broken because of uh, this explosion, because of the strength of it. And uh, it was really sad because I have spent uh, my uh, youth, my childhood in, the, uh, in there, in that uh, yard. And uh, right now it is destroyed. Just the, the, that explosion was at one of the flats and it was uh, absolutely in fire and completely destroyed like everything in it. It is really sad and it's really strong, uh, strange to see uh, how uh, our city changes. Like a lot of uh, fortifications uh, all around the Kiev, a lot of uh, blocks, a lot of uh, things standing like the road. Uh, uh blocking the way for the tanks uh, or if they will try to get to the center of kiev to the governmental streets that really that is really strange also that it's really kind of weird uh when uh, it's like uh, night and there is no cars there is no people it's like a complete silence you can hear your your, your own heartbeat because in other flats, it is also like uh, absolutely no sounds, like everything is asleep or has moved away and it is really like strong. Uh, what about Kiev City Council? Yes, we had a planned recession uh, the day before yesterday uh, because we needed to make some decision to help uh, uh, to protect the city and uh, we have moved um, uh, one and three, 1.3 billion uh, hryvnas uh, from uh, city budget uh, to the uh, protecting the city, like uh, to making this, those block posts and uh, to buying some medicaments for the territorial defense and so on. Uh, and uh, also we uh, made uh, like um, mail uh, to uh, our city's brothers and also one uh, except mail for our city brother Minsk, because uh, Minsk is a city brother of Kiev, asking mm -hmm. them not to join the uh, fight uh, against Ukrainians and uh, telling them that if they will, they w we w won't be brothers anymore. And you're talking about your, your brother city uh, in Russia, not to join the fight against in uh, Belarus, Minsk. in Belarus, in Belarus not to join the fight. And then your, your city council, you said, is to set up defense funds to try to help you. Uh, listen, I, it, it's, it's amazing to hear, you know, to, to see you guys there, but also to hear you speak with such clarity about what you're doing, and you have a list there uh, because you want to get that out, and I think that is very commendable. I have to ask you, I'm not, I'm not asking you where you are, but I just want to know if the bombs have come to near where you guys are. Uh, right now, we are at the Territorial Defense Force base. No, no, not, don't it, tell me where you are. I don't want to know, but I just want to know if they've no, come near where you are. It's, it's like, uh, I it's won't tell Territorial you the Defense address. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, there is a lot of uh, bases of Territorial Defense in Kiev. Yeah. And um, right now, uh, we are in the center of Kiev, really close to the governmental streets. And uh, it is almost silent in here. But when you go out uh, like to the street, you can hear some explosions, but uh, a little bit far away. Yeah. Uh, and yes, uh, th th that is not board kind board. of, uh, yeah. What did but you say, Sviatoslav? What did you say? Yeah, I can hear uh, some explosions on both posts today. Uh, it's really, it's uh, not very silent uh, up to maybe uh, 2 p.m. 
five times, something like that. After that, it's a complete, uh, after that, it was completely silent. So. But, so, you know, the last time uh, I spoke with Irina, you were out uh, on a mission with the Defense Force. Can you tell yes, us I what those missions have been like? Yes, uh, I was just, um, it was the next mission, it was the second mission. Uh, I was, it was the second mission, right? Second, yes. Mr. Yes, it was the second mission. I was uh, on the next position uh, on the key borders. Uh, just, uh, I was teaching uh, our civilians how to do a, a Molotov cocktails, just burst out all my hands with, with that work. Um, and uh, actually, we do some new positions. We uh, again we wait a Russian techniques colony that uh, that uh, could try to break through the uh, our regular army, just uh, fighting with um, some uh, some uh, uh, sabotage some, groups. Yeah, some sabotage, sabotage groups. Uh, so, did, were uh, you in direct contact with Russian soldiers? Mm, yes. Yes. We have we have some contact in that. You did. Yes. I did. Talk to me about it. Well, it was a, a sabotage group uh, in the forest near our positions. Uh, we just have a secrets uh, a secrets position, uh, which uh, from uh, um, from which we uh, just um, looking uh, look at the forest, looking at the forest. Uh, I've been looking at the forest. Yes, and. Um, just uh, uh, some sabotage groups uh, are uh, trying to find our um, artillery and position. We really have a lot of uh, artillery and fire on our position, just uh, f from our f from our armies, from our en and from our enemies, uh, just something like... It was like very, flying, very, about yes, flying about the head. Yes, just flying about the head. It's very noisy. It's not like in key. It's border if we're really a really noisy place. What are the, and, Sviatoslav, what are the conditions like out there? I think Irina said that you came back, you were out in the cold, you were cold? Um, yes, uh, a little bit. It's not, not, it's not about my calls, it's uh, just about my hands and my uh, uh, feet. Uh, and nose. <laughs> and nose, yes, of course, and nose, but... Uh, what are the conditions like out there? Talk to us about what it's like being out there. Is it because you said you were... Uh, with the sabotage group, and you were looking. So some of the, the convoy, that 40-mile-long convoy, have made its way, we're told, into the towns, into woods, or what have you. Um, have you been in contact with anything like that in some of the tanks that have been? Or is this just uh, sort of hand-to-hand? -hand uh, I think, happily, we haven't got some contact like that because uh, it just really, really many artillery on fire from our side. It's uh, like our our mission was just to protect our artillery, our artillery and uh, machines, uh, and uh, just uh, hold our positions uh, and uh, catch the sabotage groups that uh, want to w want to um, want to correct correct, uh, the, correct uh, the enemy's artillery and fire just on our positions, position of our comrades, uh, and uh, actually destroy our. Artillery machines. Irina, when I first spoke to you, to both of you, you said that you had no doubt that Ukraine will win the war. Do you still feel that way tonight? Of course, I do. People don't lose uh, their strengths. Uh, they are kind of laugh at Russians, but still they are fury. And also it grows with every day, yes, with exactly. every killed child, woman, with every destroyed house, hospital, maternity. People are becoming more and more angry. Like, I usually come to smoke somewhere and I hear uh, our guys uh, talking to each other and they are like, oh, um, usually I'm a pacifist. I hate blood. I hate uh, violence. But right now I want to kill and I want to kill as much as I can. And uh, that really is weird. Like, people in here are kind. People in here are thinking first about their families, about their homes. We are really a kind of archa archaic nation, which uh, uh, the most uh, available things for us is our family, our homes, our children. And also, like, we feel each other as brothers and sisters. So the, that is, the, I think, the main difference between us and Russians. Like, they are one for them, and they 
try to uh, live uh, like uh, alone, alone, alone for for himself. But uh, we feel pain for every child. Like we will feel pain for a child killed in Mariupol, as for our brothers or sisters child. Mm -hmm. Because we feel like each other as one nation, as one big family, and it's really good. And that really helps us. That helped, uh, it helped us during Maidan in 2013. And right now, the whole world is Maidan. And uh, really, uh, it helps us now.